Dude, I know I left it here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yo, what the heck, man? It's literally been like a month and I, I'm just barely finding this camera right here and it's happened to be recording right now. Guys. <laughs> Dude, I've been so terrible and I'm sorry. But other than that, we're here with a brand new video. I'm David Guy Kicks. Welcome back. I picked up this vintage Grinch t-shirt. It's an XL, but it's from 2001. So I feel like it's still like, it's not too big. It's a little small, but perfect for the holidays. I got some Grinch socks that I picked up yesterday. So you're probably wondering, David, you have a Grinch shirt, you have Grinch socks. I don't have Grinch pants, but I do have some Grinch sneakers. Let's take a look at this box really quick. Look at this. If I could wear the box, I would, but I I can't. It comes in a sliding. Oh, that's dope. Comes with these, and then it comes with a set already inside the shoe. Two sets extra shoelaces. So we got red, and then we got the neon. Both pairs are pretty identical. It has the Grinch hand holding an Adidas ornament. Yeah, I might wear these today. With the matching shirt, yo, that's fire, and socks, <gasps> yo, it's game over. I haven't vlogged in a while because I feel like most of the time my day consists of me working on orders from the website, working on projects, but I think everybody has this problem. Like to me, it's boring because I do it all the time, but maybe to you guys, it could be somewhat entertaining. I don't know, it's just an ongoing battle with myself. That sounds really dark, but... It's facts. Finally found a place to put my Cause Sesame Street plushies. Dude, honestly, I'm like a grown kid and I have like 20 different other ones that aren't here right now. Excuse the mess, but this is literally where I sit most of the day, just working on orders. And I'm not complaining, I'm super happy and I'm blessed to be in a situation like this. What's up you guys? So I'm shooting on my other camera right now, but I just finished wrapping up a video with Smith there. I just, <laughs> I just wrapped up filming a video with Mr. Sneakerhead in the Bay. <laughs> Dude, what's your problem? I'm crying. You could? I'm actually crying. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but anyways, the 2023 reimagined White cement threes. Alex got an early pair. We just did a little unboxing. So the full video will be on his channel, but I'm just showing you guys real quick. First looks. I like them. They're really nice. Um, could use better leather. It's nice. It's a nice classic colorway. I need the black cement threes. I should just Ooh. paint these black. If they came out with black cement threes with this shape, yes. that'd be awesome. Cause I feel like they're just so bulky right now. Like these are mine from 2017, the free throw lines. This is from the back tab of Alex's 1994 pair. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. No. Dude. Sorry. Probably gonna do this to um, all the OG colorways. That's what I'm thinking. That'd be dope. Quick trick shot. Um, no, put the shoe down. Cause I'm gonna hit the ball inside the shoe. Oh, like this. Like other way. Does it work? No, <laughs> like on its back. The oh yeah. Okay, from right here to here. You have to believe in yourself. All right. Okay. I need some chalk first. What are you gonna give me if I make this in? Okay, first try. Yo! <laughs> That was dope. Thumbs up for that. Yo, I'm just on a roll of just making content. Like, who am I? Just kidding, I should. But look at this new, oh wait, I already showed you guys the shirt. But anyways, I'm getting the full outfit picture. Shout out to Alex for helping me out. Yo, these are saucy. Perfect for the holidays. I like these a lot. I even threw on the socks. Sick. I am currently working on more orders for the website. Specifically though, I'm working on custom doormats. So everything I do is straight from Cricut. From Cricut, we got it connected to the actual Cricut machine. This doormat right here is for the homie that tints windows. He tinted my window on the RAV4. He tinted a bunch of Alex's cars. I cut this out on freezer paper and then I'm gonna use it as a stencil. This has already been cut. I'm gonna have to weed it right now, which means cut out all the shapes that is gonna get painted. So this is very tedious but it's also super satisfying. Might take me some time, but it's all part of the process.
And just like that, we have finished. I messed up a little bit right here, but that's okay. We're not all perfect. I originally was supposed to have another line right here and it's too much to redo the whole thing and too much to redo just this part. We gotta work with what we have. We need to heat set it so that it sticks to the doormat. I still need to place it properly because I need to make sure that it's center because it's gonna look dumb if it's not. I turn on and I get out the Cricut Easy Press and then the heat makes this stick to here acting as a stencil. Ready for some magic? Okay, we lift it up and look at that. Look how flat that is compared to this that hasn't even been touched yet. Okay, let's do this side. After we spray paint this, then I will go back and touch it up. Just this area and this area pretty much, but that's about it. Paint I will be using is Flex Seal because this does have an extra protection when it comes to the sunlight. And of course, I always spray with a clear coat just so it can last a lot longer out in the sun. All right, it's all sprayed. Now we wait for it to dry a little bit. Even though I can remove it right now, I think I'm just gonna let it dry for a little, and then we'll remove it. All right, this is the moment of truth. And then I just gotta touch up everything else right now. So I touched up the doormat and this is what the final doormat looks like. I ended up doing two doormats total. The second doormat he requested to gift to one of his other buddies who also tints cars. Wholesome, how wholesome is that? But doormats are cool, you know, everybody needs a doormat. Sometimes your, your front door is just a little plain and you need that extra little note to kind of get the conversation going. If you live in an apartment and people are constantly walking down your hall, a cool, a funny note would be cool. Little things like that. That's what a lot of people tell me. That's why they get doormats. The doormat just tells who you are. So if you're interested in purchasing a doormat, I will leave a link in the description down below. And if you do have a custom request, DM me on Instagram at davidgotkicks and we'll make it happen. But I will do a full tutorial on my YouTube channel at davidgotkicks. Not this channel, but my main channel, David Got Kicks. I will do a more in-depth video, even though you guys already pretty much saw it, but I'll take you guys more in-depth if you guys want to try it out for yourself. But that's going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will take you guys along with me on what my day looks like because there's a bunch of stuff that I need to do and finish and I'll explain to you guys what I will be doing in the next video in the next video but yeah it is your boy David Got Cakes thank you for all the love and support you guys have been showing me and my channel I'll see you guys very very soon I promise subscribe okay bye hypeyserus.com